I've got a friend who's a very well-dressed lady. Now, she's always immaculately dressed. And whenever I see her, I'm always complimenting her on her outfits. When I ask her where her outfit's from, either part or sometimes all of her outfit is from Marks and Spencers. Now, I'm usually quite surprised by this because Marks and Spencers does have a bit of a reputation for being a bit frumpy. But my friend, she's anything but frumpy. So she inspired this video and she inspired me to see what I could find from Marks and Spencers for this haul. So off to m and I went. There were lots of stripy pieces in store. This one looked lovely. It's a pure cashmere knit and this would look great worn so many different ways. This shirt I liked when I saw it. I could see this being worn with wide leg slouchy trousers, either black or white. I think that could look really great. This was another one I found, which perhaps could be worn front tucked with some shorts. I think that could work. But this is the one that caught my eye because of the shape. I really like the V-neckline, which I knew would be flattering. And I also like the black and white stripe print. It's one of those tops that could be worn lots of different ways. It could be worn simply with black jeans and paired with a tan tote bag. It would layer really lovely under a black coat of any kind. I've put it together with a black trench coat from Lily Silk and my Nord Green watch with the black strap. And I also tried layering it with the knit over the shoulders. It's a look I love for that sort of casual vibe. Now I quite like stripes on stripes so I also tried layering another striped sweater over the shoulders. I'm not sure if I like this look or not but you know it's always worth trying. The striped sweater I'm wearing over my shoulders is another one I saw in store but I had actually seen this online beforehand so I was really pleased to see it in store to see what it actually looked like and I think it's got that kind of French chicness to it. I've put it together with some black jeans and black bag and two-tone shoes. These shoes are also M&S but they're not this season I'm afraid and I don't think I'd wear it any other way. I do really like the top but I do have a slight issue with the sleeves as they do hang down. That's just the style of them. They're not as bad as some jumpers I've seen in this style where they hang really low but they do slightly bother me. I just imagine them always falling in your food. And the other thing is you can't see any of the lovely jewel you may be wearing underneath. If you've got all these lovely pieces then you really want to show them off. Other than the sleeves though I think it's a really lovely jumper. I spotted this orange dress. This is actually a beach dress, but it looked like it could be one of those dresses that could be a day to night dress. I love the orange, but I don't know about you, sometimes I can feel a little bit self-conscious and a bit nervous wearing bright colors. So I was quite relieved to see a navy one in exactly the same style. So I thought I'd try both of them to see which one I felt more comfortable in. They're both see-through, but they are beach dresses. So if you did want to wear it normally, you would have to wear a slip underneath it. And you'd also have to wear it with a strapless bra or one of those bras with adjustable straps. It's got a tight neck, but you could wear that open or you could tie it up as well. Going through the store, orange did seem to be a little bit of a theme in there as the next thing I found was this orange skirt. Now it looks stunning hanging up, very, very eye-catching. So I took it into the changing rooms to try it on. I took in a size 12, that's what it said on the hanger. But when I tried it on and it fell down to my ankles, I realized it was a size 24. It's very, very annoying when that happens. Anyway, I did get the skirt in the right size eventually, and I think it looks very beautiful on. There's actually two different types of this skirt. This one I'm wearing is by Ghost. This one is a little bit more expensive. And the other one is an M&S one, which is a Medaxi length. And the other one is supposedly a midi length, but they're pretty much the same on me. There's a bit of a difference in the price. The M&S one is £35 and the Ghost one is £69. The Ghost one is a little bit more of a burnt orange whereas the M&S one a bit more of a brighter orange. I tried the skirt with these shoes. These are a squared toe shoe with quite a chunky heel but the heel makes them a little bit more walkable and they're surprisingly quite comfortable. And these are 45 pounds. The blazer and the top that I'm wearing are both really, really old. I can't even remember where they come from. The orange bag I've put it together with is from Teddy Blake. That's the Gemma bag. The bangles and necklace are from Monica Vinader and my watch is from Nord Green. Now this is the native watch with the very beautiful mother of pearl dial. And I've put that together with the black leather watch strap. I think it works really well with the outfit and blends with the overall look and the colours. 
I'm wearing gold bangles so the watch coordinates really well with that because it's got gold casing but I could change that around and wear a different strap and that's the beauty of the Nord Green watches all the straps can be swapped it's one of the things I love the most about them that and the fact that they are very beautiful watches for this outfit I think the black watch strap work but I'd like to know which one you think would look best out of these four I could swap the black strap and wear the gold mesh strap this I think looks a little bit more elevated maybe a little bit more dressy it goes really well with the gold bangles I'm wearing and the bag I'm wearing it with also has gold hardware so it all goes really well together another strap I could try it with which is sort of similar is this gold five link strap now to me this one is the most dressy really lovely to dress up an evening outfit but I do actually wear this during the daytime as well but I tend to wear it on those occasions when I need to be smart or if I just want to feel smart if you know what I mean but I do wear this one quite a lot now one other strap I could try it with is the brown leather strap I love the brown leather and gold and the mother of pearl together the colors are very autumnal especially with the deep orange skirt but as there's no other brown in the outfit don't think this is the one I change my mind every time I look at them I think they all bring something to the outfit so let me know what you think in the comments box below so the first one is the black leather strap with the native dial the second one was the gold mesh strap the third one was the five link gold strap and the last one was the brown leather one just drop me a comment in the description box below and if you are thinking of purchasing anything from Nord Green, I've got a code for 15% off for you. It's on the screen now and linked below for you, along with my watch and all the straps as well. Apart from the orange one, there were actually lots of lovely skirts in store. I really like this green one that's tiered. It feels very bohemian to me. Now this one was £35, but it also comes in white and red. I picked it up in black. Now this is on an elasticated waistband, so it's perfect for us short-waisted ladies, as it can be dropped to the hips. This could be worn with all different types of tops. A t-shirt, a vest top. I think it would look lovely with a bardo style top and I've tried it with a black knotted shirt. It's not really my usual style, but I really like this one. Another skirt I really liked was this polka dot one. Now, I know not everyone likes polka dots, but I'm always really drawn to them. It's another one that's on an elasticated waistband, but this one also has a tie waist, but as a fact, I don't know if you really need it. This is very see-through, so it definitely needs a slip with it. I've put it together with a black shirt and some nude heels. And I've put it together with a blazer as well. Now, if you're a trainer lady, then absolutely this would work with them. But I think you would need to be quite tall as the skirt is actually quite long. On the website, it's actually paired with some really thick, chunky boots. I mean, each to their own, but I'm not really liking that look. To me, that looks a little bit frumpy. Marks and Spencers always have a really good selection of trench coats but the one I spotted was this pink one. I just thought it was a really nice alternative to either a beige or a black one and the pink trench coat can be styled up more ways than you may think. I really like pink and grey so if the coat were for a work outfit it could be paired with grey trousers and a sweater and put together with a pink bag. You could put it with a grey bag but I think the pink bag blends a little bit better with the coat. Now that's a smart look but it could be worn far more casually too. I like pale blue denim with pink and some white. The three colours look lovely together. So these jeans are from M&S but they're actually so sander and the white shirt is from Lily Silk. Now I've put it with heels but of course a flat could be worn to keep the outfit a little bit more casual and a trainer would absolutely work as well. I saw this coat in store, it's a casual rain jacket, it's £49.50. I really like the colour of this, it's a slightly softer shade than khaki. It does come up quite big though, the one I'm wearing is a size 12. A 10 would have been much better. And I've just put it together with some jeans, trainers and a white vest top. Just a really casual outfit. What I did see a lot of in store was bomber jackets and I tried this one on whilst I was there. I do like it with black but I wanted to see how it would look with the light blue denim and trainers so I tried that combination when I got home. It's quite a nice casual outfit but the jacket is pure white so the downside is it's going to get very dirty quickly but it is machine washable. Another bomber jacket I found was this one. Now I love the colour of this one. It's a kind of a beigey taupe colour 
this is much thicker than the white one so it's going to be quite warm to wear now just like the white one i've simply put it together with some blue jeans a white vest top and i've tried it the same way but with some black jeans now on the topic of jeans i found these dark indigo straight leg jeans these are incredibly similar to uh, a Saint Laurent pair which are about four or five times the price they're such a great color and you can just simply put them together with a white shirt now the shirt I'm wearing it with is this one and I'm really excited to show you this because I've not seen this before and it solves a problem that I've been moaning about for a long long time they have very cleverly put a hidden button so it prevents all those embarrassing gaps and exposing your bra and everything else underneath now I've never seen that before so I may be behind the times but I thought it was such a great idea and I really hope that more shirt designers start putting that little button in there. So that's the jeans and the shirt together and I've also tried it with a blazer. It's a very classic look but very smart look. One other way I did try it is with a striped shirt and this is from Lily Silk and to that I added some red just to give it some colour. They also had a very nice looking vertical striped shirt. I mean there's so many ways to wear these with white bottoms is the most popular way right now but the nice worn open over a vest for a casual look this is an oversized shirt so i went right down to a size extra small to make it work for me and i also like these ballerina shoes which caught my eye these have got a nice pointed toe and the kind of shoe that would go with everything some other things that i liked when i was in the store were the raffia sort of beach style bags I liked all of these but this one was my favourite. I like the pattern and the handle is lovely too. And it's nice and roomy inside. Because of the time of year as you'd expect there was quite a few beach dresses. I like the colours of this one but it really didn't suit me at all. On someone else it could look very nice. There were some crochet dresses which would be nice on holiday and green dresses that caught my eye. There was quite a lot of red in store. I love it. When you wear it, you don't feel quite so invisible. This was a red shirt beach cover up. And then there was this longer beach dress there with sleeves. I really like the shirt dress. It was 25 pounds. It does come in loads of different colors, but I like the red. I thought it was fab. I'm drawn to reds. I think it's quite an expensive looking color, but there's lots of other colors that have an expensive look to them. If you do need some inspiration, then hop on over to this video and watch that next.